Let's pimp this ride. G'day everyone, welcome back to the J&D Creations Pimp My Ride. This is part two guys, so if you're just tuning into this video for the first time, make sure you head on back to my channel and check out part one and see how we got to this stage. For those who don't know, I'm doing up this crazy coupe for my little boy so he's got a sick ride. The finer details of how I come across doing something like this are in part one, so again, make sure you head on over there and check that out before you watch this video. We've still got so much more to do to this. We've got to install a dash, which I'm going to be doing out of burl and resin. We've got to prime it, we've got to paint it, we've got to fill up some of the holes with some bog, and I'm sure there's more mods that I'll come across along the way that I'm just going to have to do that I don't even know about yet. So without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure you check out part one. This is part two, and then we'll have part three next week. Let's do this. guys the dash has come up pretty schmick now this isn't finished it's only sanded to like 120 resin i generally take up to between 1500 and 2000 grit so there's a lot of work to go on this still but that's where it's sitting right now it's actually been a few weeks that have passed since i sanded up that dash and since then i've had some stuff arrive in the mail for this project some mirrors ain't that a trippy effect and this Unless you can read Chinese, you're probably not going to know what this is. And I had no idea when it arrived either, because I forgot that I ordered it. Some exhaust pipes. Well, muffler caps, I don't really know what they're called, but they're going to complete the look of this, I think. So we've got two of these to go onto the back of the car. So I need to start working on fitting the dash, drilling out some holes for those exhaust pipes, putting a bit of bog into all the areas to do some shaping. And then I think it's going to be time to sand this thing up and get it ready for some paint.
So I'm sure there's a heap of you out there who have just looked at what I've done and gone, what the hell is he doing? And it's true, I've never actually used bog before, so I got no idea, I'm just winging it. I tried my best to make sure that all of the creases I wanted filled were filled and they were filled over so that I've got room to sand back and make everything flush. If you're an expert with this stuff, make sure you leave me a comment down below, tell me what I did wrong and how I can improve so if I need to use this stuff again in the future, I'll know what I'm doing. Now, as you know, I'm very used to working with resin and resin has an extremely long work time. This stuff was about eight minutes, I think the packet said, and it wasn't lying. That stuff started setting before I'd even finished doing what I was doing. So I had to make up a heap of little batches to do what I needed to do so that it didn't set too quickly. As it started hardening, it started going into a real clay type texture. I don't even know what it was, but you could no longer spread it nicely. And that seemed to happen way too quickly for my liking. But we're gonna leave this now for 30 minutes before I can sand it. And then we're gonna try and get a smooth round over effect on everywhere that we've put it in so that it's completely covered. Once we paint this, you won't even know the bog's there. I guess I'll spend the next 30 minutes watching my YouTube channel and checking out how many of you actually subscribe. Hint, hint, wink, wink wink, subscribe now. Or maybe my time would be better spent figuring how I'm going to attach the mirrors. I was gonna put a bit of bog on the thread of the mirrors and just slot them straight into the holes because there's holes already in the front of the car from where the wheels originally sat. But then I realized I've still got to paint this thing and I don't want to cover those mirrors in masking tape. So I'm gonna to have to attach them after the painting's done. I just need to figure out a way to make sure that they're locked into place in those pre-existing slots. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of part two of this build. Remember, if you haven't checked out part one, be sure to jump back onto my channel, check out part one to see how we got to the start of part two. We're gonna wrap this up here now, but make sure you subscribe so that you can check out part three of this build where we put it all back together and see what the end result is. I've checked out my analytics and about 95% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that is you, make sure you subscribe, ring that little bell icon so that you get notifications when every video comes out and then you'll know when part three drops. This has been an awesome project so far guys. Part three will drop next week. Stay tuned for that. Until next week, see you later.